Terence C. Carson, born on November 19, 1958, is an American actor and voice actor known for his work in television, film, and as a voice actor in animated projects. Carson attended the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, where he studied acting. Terence C. Carson developed an early interest in acting and pursued his passion during his college years. He laid the foundation for his career by studying the craft of acting. Before transitioning to on-screen roles, Carson had a background in theater. He honed his acting skills in theatrical productions, gaining valuable experience on the stage. One of Carson's notable contributions to the entertainment industry is his extensive work as a voice actor. He has lent his voice to various animated characters in television shows, films, and video games. Terence C. Carson is perhaps best known for his portrayal of Kyle Barker on the popular television sitcom Living Single, which aired from 1993 to 1998. His performance as the suave and successful friend of the main characters contributed to the show's success. His portrayal of the smooth and successful friend of the main characters contributed significantly to the show's success. Terence C. Carson played the character Kyle Barker in the television sitcom Living Single, which aired from 1993 to 1998. Kyle Barker is a prominent character in Living Single and is one of the main cast members. He is a successful, suave, and confident investment banker who is known for his charm and sophistication. Kyle's character reflects a high-achieving and career-oriented individual. He works in the finance industry and enjoys a prosperous lifestyle. Throughout the series, Kyle is portrayed as a close friend to the other main characters, including Khadija James, Queen Latifah, Sinclair James Jones, Kim Coles, Regina Regine Hunter, Kim Fields, and Maxine Max Shaw, Erica Alexander. Kyle Barker is involved in various romantic storylines throughout the series. His relationships and interactions with other characters contribute to the comedic and dramatic elements of the show. As one of the central characters, Kyle is involved in both comedic and dramatic moments. The character's interactions with his friends, colleagues, and romantic interests provide a multifaceted portrayal. Kyle Barker's character is integral to the ensemble cast of Living Single. The show explores the dynamics of friendship, love, and career pursuits among a group of African-American friends living in New York City. Carson has appeared in various television shows and films. His on-screen credits include both dramatic and comedic roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. Carson voiced the character Mace Windu in the animated series Star Wars The Clone Wars, bringing the iconic Star Wars character to life in the animated realm. Terrence is one of the richest TV actors from United States. According to our analysis, Wikipedia, Forbes and Business Insider, Terrence C. Carson's is estimated to be $150 million. T.C. Carson living in a three million house. The room is adorned with exquisite furniture, tasteful art, and floor-to-ceiling windows overlooking a breathtaking view. T.C. Carson, a successful actor, is sipping champagne and admiring his opulent surroundings. T.C. stands in his state-of-the-art kitchen, preparing a gourmet meal with the help of a personal chef. I used to dream of having a kitchen like this. It's amazing what hard work and dedication can bring. T.C. is reclining in a plush leather seat, enjoying a private screening of his latest blockbuster film. T.C. is surrounded by racks of designer suits, shoes, and accessories. T.C. lounges by his infinity pool, soaking in the sun and enjoying the peaceful atmosphere. End of the day, it's all about having a comfortable place to rest and recharge for the next adventure. There is some evidence that Terence C. Carson may be gay in real life, though the answer is not clear as T.C. Carson's personal life is largely private. In an interview with After Elton in 2010, Carson said that he is open to the possibility of a relationship with a man, and that he has played gay before and found it quite freeing. He also said that he would absolutely be open to playing a gay character on television. While this evidence is far from conclusive, it does suggest that T.C. Carson may be gay in real life. 
If this is the case, it would be significant as Carson is best known for his role as Kyle Barker on the popular sitcom Living Single. As one of the few openly gay black male actors on television, Carson would be helping to break down barriers and challenge stereotypes. He was fired from the high show Living Single. T.C. Carson shares it was devastating to be blackballed after his Living Single firing, which happened because he was speaking up about the things he felt weren't right on the set. Living Single was a hit show under the Warner Brothers, the same production company who launched Friends soon after. For the cast of Living Single, they felt as if they were neglected after Friends, who shares the same concept as their show, began getting rave reviews. The manner of which he was fired was something that bothered him as well. Hoping to make a change on the set of the show, T.C. Carson spoke up to the show's producers on behalf of his co-stars. While he insisted that their views were all the same, some producers thought he was brewing up trouble and was influencing others to feel the same way. Because of this, he ended up being fired from the show. The manner of which he was fired was something that bothered him as well. He ended up watching his character get shipped off to London on the first episode of the final season, which made him figure out that he was fired. After the episode aired, Carson indeed got a call from his lawyer telling him that he had been let go from the show. He was absolutely devastated. To make matters worse, he found out that he was blackballed from Hollywood, as his former living single bosses spread rumors about him being difficult to deal with and often came to work unprepared. He said, I heard you were difficult, that you came to work unprepared. I said, you know what? This interview is over. Thank you so much for your time. According to Carson, it didn't matter to him that he didn't end up with certain roles, as he wasn't about to let a black man berate him in front of white people just because of false rumors spread by his former bosses. Despite everything that happened, T.C. Carson is happy of the fond memories he had working with Queen Latifah, Erica Alexander, and the rest of the show's cast members. Aside from revealing what life was like, getting fired from his show Living Single, and what happened after that, Carson also decided to speak up about his life before Hollywood. A native of Illinois, he started his humble beginnings there before deciding to give Hollywood a shot. He landed a breakthrough role on Living Single, but that role was cut short when he was fired on the last season. Opening up on the topic... Carson revealed that he studied architecture and interior design at the University of Illinois, but did not end up finishing his degree because he was juggling it with two jobs. Ultimately, he also knew that he wanted to be an actor, so it was something he decided to pursue. While her mother wasn't happy with the decision of him quitting school with just a semester and a half to go, he told her that he was the one paying for his schooling, and it was a decision he was keen on making. During his time in college, he got to know his dad, whom he did not grow up with. At the time, his dad was working as a doorman, and he ended up landing him the same job. He stayed in the job for only a year because he thought it was quite insulting for a black man to be doing that. However, it was a means to an end and something he knew he had to do. I hated that job. God, I hated that job. After leaving, he went on and got involved in a theater in Chicago that went to underserved areas to play with children, do shows, and teach. It was there that he learned a lot of things that he'd need when joining Hollywood, such as dancing, doing sign language, and being one with the people. Likewise, this job gave him the opportunity to leave the country for the first time, when he traveled to Europe to do a show with the rest of the crew. Ultimately, it was the stepping stone he needed to go for it and head to Hollywood. He landed a breakthrough role on Living Single, but that role was cut short when he was fired on the last season for speaking up against things he thought were unfair on set. Carson also found out that by the time he left, his previous bosses had spread rumors about his work ethic to other producers, which made it difficult for him to land jobs after his removal from the show. Despite it all, he remained in good terms with his fellow cast members and cherishes his time on Living Single with the likes of Queen Latifah and Erica Alexander.